Hey everybody, I am Adventure Steve. I'm out here today with my Hobie Lynx kayak. One thing I'm missing on that is an acceptable phone holder. Haven't been able to find one until now. Yak Attack just came out with a brand new phone holder and we're gonna try it out today and see if it meets Adventure Steve's approval. The Hobie Lynx has this already molded in, pre-installed gear track. I've got a rod holder right here. This is my right side on the kayak and that's where I prefer to have my phone. It's the exact opposite over there. It also has a uh, molded in gear track. So we're gonna install this new Yak Attack phone holder right here. Now the eight of you that watch my videos on a regular basis know that I am not a fan of unboxings or unwrappings in any shape form or fashion i am going to make an exception today because i don't know what all's inside here this is a roto grip phone holder i'll show you that as part of the video let's see what else we come with we obviously get our instructions now i've always been a fan of yak attack gear I think they are a great company. I think they make really good stuff for kayak fishermen. So I'm hoping today I'm going to be happy with this product and I'm pretty sure I will. I've seen some videos of it and as soon as I saw it, I went and picked it up. This is a uh, brand new product. They just released it about two weeks ago or so. So it's a hot item right off the shelf just introduced so the actual phone holder itself comes in two parts very basic very easy and here's something to remember that I think is very important made in the USA okay that's important to me I buy that and uh, I buy items made in the USA whenever possible so the first thing that we got to do is we need to mount this base to the gear track. So right here, you just squeeze, pull that apart, boom, the base falls out and you install that in the gear track. Once you get that into the gear track, just give it a little tighten there. Just hand tighten it. It's not going anywhere at this point. It's in there for good. Now you add your base. You're going to pop that back to close it. And now it is in there. It's not going anywhere. The cool thing that I like about the Yak Attack stuff, especially a holder like that, if you squeeze this, you can lift it up and then you can adjust it easily, let it go, and it's locked in any position that you wanted to. And it's all done super easy. When you're on the water, of course, you know, you need things to be easy and simple. All right, this next part is really simple. Just mount the actual phone holder. And what I like here is obviously you can articulate this to any position you want. So that is awesome. For right now, I'm just going to kind of turn it towards the camera, tighten it up. And now the install is over. Your phone is actually gonna mount between these two roller wheels. The actual uh, phone holder, these arms do not move at all. So what you're doing is you're gonna just slide it in and these rollers are gonna hold your phone in place. Here's my older iPhone. I really don't use this very much anymore and it is a larger iPhone than my current iPhone. So all you do is just drop it in and use that roller now that thing is clamped 
it is clamped in there very good it is going to be hard you're going to have to actually try to take it out but all you have to do is just twist your phone and it'll use that roller in not going anywhere out okay that's that's impressive to me all right now i want to show you some absolute genius read the people at yak attack man their engineers are off the chart all right let's say that all right steve that's not going to fit my phone or whatever i'm using watch this here's what they have done if you pull the ball out as you can see there's a little gap pull it and turn it you can adjust the width of that phone holder booyah holy moly that is another reason to own this that's crazy look at that that's crazy oh my gosh i love that it's obvious that they have a superior brain just like mine but wait we're not done yet are you kidding me don't be a loser and click away yet be a winner be a winner in life and watch this video all right they are including a tether strap for your phone with this entire system now these are pretty easy let's see if i can work to get it on oh by the way check that out how you like the bigfoot there in the spaceship and the loch ness monster pretty cool huh yeah all right so you strap this around your phone on the corners like that there it is you're all strapped around they give you a little carabiner and a little stretchy stretch and now if you're fishing and drinking and drop your phone in the water no problem you're not going to lose it but adventure steve where am i going to attach that tether to my phone holder calm down Jeez, calm down junior look at there Look at there, right there, that little hole. They provide a place to attach the carabiner. Yeah, they thought of everything. All right, I'm really liking everything about this. All right, now looky here. We're all in the holder. It's all safe. We're tethered, okay? Pop the phone off. Look at that tether. Look at this thing. Look at that stretch, man. I don't know how, how far that is. That might be close to four feet. Look at there. Doing, 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 da, 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 da. Okay. That is damn near perfection the way I see it. Hello? Marketing department for kayak catfish. Yeah, this is Adventure Steve, and hell no, I ain't gonna wear one of his hats in my video. I'm not gonna promote his damn channel. You know, the guy, hey y'all, look at me. I just caught another 80 pound catfish and I didn't even try. God, later. Blocked. Whew.